everybody, Chris Schaefer of Potsky Outdoors. Today we're going to talk to you about catfish. Now, catfishing is something that everybody loves to do. Reason being, it's it's a it's an inexpensive sport that everybody can do. Everybody be, can be successful at doing. And what are we doing today exactly? Oh, we're we're going catfishing. Uh, that's, uh, <laughs> you gotta love it. You know, that's that's a little something different for me. Yeah, we we do it. You know, growing up as as kids, but uh, we're gonna go try to catch some catfish today, and and uh, we've got plenty of baits to do it with I can tell you that now there's a million different catfish baits that everybody uses we got everything from shrimp to hot dogs to chicken livers to I guess you call those gizzards I'm that's guessing, right that's gizzards right. we even got baits that are processed baits what's one thing about these baits that we're gonna do we're gonna scent them even more and why are we gonna do that we're gonna, we're gonna scent all these baits uh, with with Potsky catfish nectar today and it just adds a little something extra to to the bait um, a hot dog doesn't have a lot of, for example, a hot dog doesn't have a lot of, you know, scent to it. Uh, it takes that catfish a little longer to find just a regular hot dog, but they will eat it if they find it. And uh, this nectar that we're going to add to it today is just going to give it that extra scent where they find it quicker. We call it several things. It could be rejuvenation. It could be, you know, extending the life of the bait. It could be creating a scent trail. And that's what we're here to do. Catfish nectar is one of the few actual liquid scents on the market. The reason why it's out there, take a whiff. We don't like the smell of that, but the catfish do. We're going to show you how to take any catfish bait that's out there, except maybe worms, and soak catfish nectar in those baits. And the reason why you're soaking them is you're going to create a scent trail. It's going to bring even more catfish in. So we're going to show you what we do with each individual bait, how simple it is, how inexpensive it is, more, right. more important, to go out there and catch more catfish. We'll be back. Okay, so you guys have seen us use this on several baits. We've used it on hot dogs, we've used it on livers, we use it on shrimp, uh, uh, processed fish, that kind of thing. This is something you can use on any bait. If it's a meat bait, any sort of stink bait, you can use it on pretty much anything. The key is, you don't want to just pour it on on there and let it drip off and go fishing. You want to let it soak, correct? That's right, that's right. And uh, one key thing to using the nectar is make sure when you get these bottles, the, some of the sediment is and good smell and scent is at the bottom so make sure you shake these bottles very well and get that sediment off the, the bottom before you you know before you pour it in on your baits and uh you know 12 if you're going fishing tomorrow go ahead and soak those baits tonight give it at least 12 hours to soak and that'll give you a good saturation on those baits the key is he's saying saturation for a reason if it saturates into those baits guess what while it's sitting on the ground in the bottom of the lake, it's going to seep out. That scent's going to go. You're going to create a, a, a catfish trail, right. and they're going to come in and eat it. So we're going to go out and do some fishing. Here's a great tip for you guys to go out there. Add catfish nectar to your baits. You'll catch more fish, and just like it says in bold letters on the bottle, shake well. I want you to get all that scent out there, just like we're going to do today. <laughs> 